I didn't know I needed so much permission. Not permission for what? <clears throat> to feel. To rest. To just be. <laughs> like. Yeah. You don't realize how much you take on in your day-to-day -day life. How much armor you put on yourself. And then just being here in the privacy of your little bubble in time. And your permission to just to take it all off. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I've ever felt my shoulders be so far away from my ears. <laughs> it's like, it's just like, ah, oh, deep breath of relief. Uh, again, it just showed me all those things that I do, the expectations that I put on myself, the ways that I don't love myself. the way I should, and how I forget that, yeah, you're just you, you're doing your best, love yourself, keep doing your best. That sense of stillness was definitely new, and just the groundedness, but it was also, for me, it was uncomfortable. Because it reminded me of that boredom side of life, which I'm not very comfortable with. I think I just got so in my head and so disconnected from the truth and that knowing that I just, I don't know, it's almost like your brain plays tricks on you and can really make you think like something's wrong or you're broken or but just in giving yourself the permission to sit and rest and like be with those feelings It's like they just evaporated. It's like when you you sit with those tough feelings. And again, it was like the whole process of learning that part of you that's whole and rediscovering that part and just sitting with it and just being like, <laughs> of course you're not broken. <laughs> How could you forget? We've been whole this whole time. And just... Yeah, I could... <laughs> I laughed at myself a lot in there. <laughs> Some of the funny... Funny to me now thoughts that I was having. And just... Yeah, again, how tough you can be on yourself or... How distorted your... Brain can... Play tricks on you. Was how I was kind of imagining it just holding up the wrong mirror to the wrong thing instead of just yeah sinking into that knowing and how anytime I <clears throat> came up against a hard feeling you would check in and you'd hold that mirror and just be like remember and then it would just, like, like so quickly, <laughs> so quickly, I could sit there for hours, <laughs> just slowly going down the rabbit hole. And then you'd come and you'd just hold the mirror, and I'd remember, and then I'd be like, <laughs> 30 seconds later, it's gone. And you're like, what kind of magic is this? <clears throat> How did I forget again? <laughs> I'm still in the darkness. <laughs> this should be fresh. You start to notice it now. 
Like you didn't like you call it coping mechanisms, but like I can feel it now more so in those day to days where I think back and I'm like, oh, that's what you were feeling. That's what was going on. That's why you were running or that's why you just went and sat on your phone all day. Like it was just too much. And that's your brain telling you, okay, let's get away from this. But yeah, it's like, it's almost like a new language that you learn in <clears throat> feelings and emotions that I didn't have before. Or it's like you've got a lot more words for it now. Maybe you knew some words, but it was vague and you didn't really comprehend. But it definitely, definitely teaches you a lot in there.